Remember when you help someone, Allah helps you. We know the hadith of Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu, a powerful narration. مَنْ نَفَّسَ عَمْ مُؤْمِنٍ كُرْبَةً مِّنْ كُرَبِ الدُّنْيَا نَفَّسَ اللَّهُ عَنْهُ كُرْبَةً مِّنْ كُرَبِ يَوْمِ الْقِيَامَةِ You need to know what it means and you need to know it is valid. It means whoever assists a fellow believer in dire need, a kurba is that which is so severe and so serious that it requires special care and attention. It requires assistance. If you help your brothers and sisters in that particular condition of dire need and you've gone out of your way to alleviate their suffering in any way, Allah says, if that happened in this world, you need to know that we will alleviate your suffering on the day of judgment. What an easy way of preparing for the day of judgment. You've heard of an earthquake, you've heard of a tsunami, you've heard of people who are homeless and you reached out to them and you went and even if you helped one person, you are included in this hadith, subhanallah. Even if you have gone out, for example, somewhere across the globe, far or near, and you have helped those in dire need, alleviated their suffering in one way, even in a small way, put a smile on their faces, make them feel you are not alone, we are with you. Subhanallah, you will find on the day of judgment, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will reach out to you and Allah will call you out by name and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will create ease for you and me on that day. May we be from amongst those who can help one another.